And Albert, just like everyone else, I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for your service in K1. You inspired me and thousands of others to train, compete, and follow a traditional martial arts style. So thank you very much, okay, sir. Yeah. The action has started. Thank That's you, an too. <laughs> I did us, it us. all my heart, and I enjoyed it And also. you're still doing it with all your heart. Yeah, yeah, of course. Your passion still like it, yeah. is still there. As long as possible, I think I have to do this. Another one and a half years, maybe. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, an explosive start from the big guys. Under 95 kilos and a lean-looking Oliver Langwell ross from Canada, who resides in Serbia now. And he's fighting a Romanian Sebastian Lutaniuk, who very difficult to judge people by their appearance in this game. You know, you could say who's the better condition fighter by looking at their bodies, but you just can't tell, no, can you? No, no, you cannot say this. No, no, never. And just so people know, up to now, we've, we've had uh, KWU full contact rules, which is like K1 style kickboxing. This is KWU Senshi rules, which is Muay Thai. So elbows are allowed and clinch work in this fight. And if you get elbowed in the head, by someone who's 95 kilos and knows what they're doing. Then they will give damage, it's for a little, sure. It's a little bit hurtful, shall we say. So, at his last outing, Langlois Ross, our Canadian-Serbian fighter, wasn't lucky. I, he had a bad night at the office, I'm telling you. He didn't perform as we know he can. He's got credentials in Muay Thai going back many years. Many belts he's, he's won, as has the Romanian. They're both very, very wa well matched in terms of experience and credentials. But the Canadian has got range. You're very slow when you get into clinch. You let in faster. An elbow faster. But he's waiting for his opponent to, to do something and counter. There's those. He's, got, he's la trying to land those elbows to the top of the head. Oh, Elbows no. on the inside. Yeah, okay. Nice oh, knees. Knee. Elbow, knee, punch, knee. Continue with the elbows. You get the elbows. Now, interesting there. He let uh, Langwa Ross let uh, Lutaniuk out of the corner. Would you have kept him in there, uh, Albert? And yeah, tried to but punish I him? think it was not his meaning. Uh, I think he was a little bit uh, yeah, out of control uh, let him go. On, the, on the moment. Elbow, elbow. But he works a lot with his elbows. Yeah, it's obviously part of his game plan. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can see, you can see by the tattoos yeah. plastered across his back that he spent considerable time in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and he has uh, arranged the uh, advantage. He's a little bit, he's a, a, a whole bit bigger than the, than the Romanian guy. Yeah, he's got that range. Um, it's interesting how he was trying to get in close repeatedly. He's obviously trying to close the gap to land those elbows. Yeah. Um, which we can see in that replay. He's getting caught on the way in by the Romanian. Yeah. With some sneaky little short punches. But a taller guy like that, should he be exploiting the range, using his long jab, hammering yeah. in some low kicks, I think uh, the fight will be easier for him then, but I think he's now too much focused on the elbows and he wants to hit with the elbows. But the closer, as, as, he's main, as he's trying to close that distance to land his elbows, he's leaving himself open to being in yeah, the yeah, range sure, of being punched. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, it's intriguing. It's and also danger for himself if he comes close. Yeah, the front elbow also. Hands up. Yeah. So, his clinch is uh, a little bit unorthodox. Yeah. That wasn't like a double-handed Muay Thai clinch. Grab him with both hands on the neck. But uh, that might be where he's been used to fighting K1 rules. Yeah, I think maybe he l lost Grab the game plan yes, of, no, of the Muay Thai. There we but go. There it was a bit more Muay Thai-ish. But he's thinking about the elbows. 
Don't it, forget his elbow. It looks to me his style is a K1 style with elbows. Yeah. Whereas this this is Muay Thai rules, and he's not fighting a Muay Thai fight. No, no, it's no. It's K1 yeah. with elbows. Yeah. Because the, he don't clinch so much. It, he only search for the elbow. Big punch. Boom, boom. Then get in. And get in. And now elbow. Boom. And elbow. Boom. Yes. And don't stop. Hands up. Now, clinch and elbow. Good, good defense elbow. from the knees there from the Romanian. But Langwa Ross, he, he's, his work rate is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming forward, relentless. He keep going. We're working a lot. Midway through the second round. There's those nice elbows. Now he's in close, he can land them. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, and the elbow. Elbow, yes. But those elbows, they're not slicing. They're not coming no, across. Not really. He didn't have the the good target yet. But there's not much need to need to to cut an eye with an elbow. So it can happen very fast. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if the uh, he takes a little low blow there. Time stop. But these uh, moments like this are interesting. If you're having some success and you there's an accidental low blow, your opponent is now getting an opportunity to rest. Yeah. Um, and you have to realize that. So you may come out enthusiastic as you're having the success before that blow and think you're going to jump on your opponent and he's had 10 seconds rest and he's got enough to come back with a big, strong counter. Yeah. That was it. The Romanian is very strong in the clinch. Oh, a good high kick. Oy. There's that low blow again, unfortunately. And it is a risk in any yeah. fight, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, Muay Thai, where knees are allowed. Oh, he already uh, has a cut in the eye, I think. I see blood on his face. Yep, a little bit of cut oh, there. On, on his ear, I think. On the back of his ear. Well, the cut man there. On yeah, the on the back of his ear, he had a cut. Maybe from the upwards, from the downwards elbow on the, eye, on the ear. Maybe from the elbow, or even maybe yeah. just from the clinch and the um, yeah. inside of the gloves can rip your, rip your ear a little bit. I mean, the great thing about having your ears damaged is you end up with those cabbage cauliflower ears that you can show everyone around the world yeah. that you are a fighter. Even yeah. when, you even, like it? Yeah, I love it. Just pull up again when someone's car, wind your window oh. down and show them your oh, ear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that for yourself. <laughs> you haven't seen huh. these guys in Dagestan? They, yeah, they have all. But they, all, they, get their, um, they get their left ear mangled by a friend so that when they wind the window oh. down of their car it shows their left yeah, ear yeah. so they don't get their right ear done yeah. yeah so here we go back to the action just 10 seconds left of this second round and langwa ross dominating the action but he's taking a couple here at the end the end of this second round the romanian that was interesting a few heavy right hands came back from the romanian Langwa Ross smiled and said, yeah, bring it on. So, where are we after two rounds of action, Albert? I think, uh, I think it's uh, the advantage of the, the Canadian fighter, Oliver. Yeah, Langwa Ross, yeah. two rounds to nothing on my unofficial scorecard. But at the end of the second round, the Romanian just showed he has got the power. Yeah. Something tucked yeah, away. Good high kick he made. Yeah. And wouldn't it be fascinating if his game plan was to tire out Langwa Ross by the first two rounds? Yeah, you never know. Come out like a bull in a china shop in the third and final round. That's obviously what we want to see. Yeah. Um, both of them, 95 kilos. Showing great conditioning. Yeah, they're doing good, a good job. 
What a heavyweight. We often see the big yeah. guys gas out oh, too yeah, early. I tossed it off to 30 seconds. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's it. Control. Some heavy shots now coming from the Canadian. Yes. The Romanian yes. rough, roughing him up. That's it. He got a body lock there and showed him who's boss. Yes. Those kicks there, blocked by the arms of the Romanian. But that can be... That's can, another tactic that we don't see a, too a often. Of damage, yeah. Don't let him go. Elbow, and then get in. Get in. Langwa Ross here, very and busy, elbow. very busy. Yeah. Elbow and on the and inside. Then the knees, then elbow. Then knees, then elbow. Don't stop. What you hear is, is coach shouting for the elbows. Yes, beautiful. And now elbow. Yeah, I know the coach. I know the Canadian's coach, Serbian Misha from Ronin Combat. He's been in the game a very, very long time. His passion is unquestionable. And he told me earlier he wants the knockout. Yeah. So I think even if he gets a win tonight, he might be slightly disappointed. Yeah. Because he knows what Langwa Ross can do. He knows what he can do. He knows what he's capable of. Yeah. But the Romanian guy is a tough guy. Yes. Now keep on, get in. He don't give him the fight very easy. He really come to fight. Hands up, chin down. He's come to fight. He's tired now. You can see that, but he's not going. He's not going backwards too much. He's still coming forwards. Don't stop! Don't stop! Come on! And now, hey, and then our elbow. But you have to watch it. If you've got somebody, 95 kilos, and they look tired, and you keep coming yeah. forward, boom! They can come with something from yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah, for sure. Every every punch will be dangerous, or every kick will be dangerous because there's a lot of power inside. But when so, when someone slows down like this, like the, you can see the Romanians tired, would you be attacking that lead leg with low kicks, heavy low kicks? Yeah, or take the body. Take yeah. The body. If you uh, have a uh, height advantage, make the push kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It will be an easy job. Left, right, push kick. There's no, no... Uh, that annoying front kick where you drag down at the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you are safe yourself, and you make more damage on, damage on them. Yeah. Look at the kick, the long kicks, like this. Actually, every kick that goes a little bit uh, air out of his body. Yeah. And that lead leg front push kick doesn't take much effort to land. No, it's no. Yeah, it's easy. To, right to the middle. Come on. And then elbow. Elbow! Last 10 seconds we're coming up to now, this third and final round. And I have to say, the Canadian stroke Serbian Lenoir Ross, his work rate has been fantastic. For someone at this weight, yeah, yeah. a work rate like that, good, yeah. all three rounds. He did a good job in the gym. And he had a point to make tonight. His last outing here at Senchi was very disappointing. And I've got, yeah, I've but got, uh, in that fight, he had an, a guy who was... Uh, Minimum one head uh, bigger wow, than him. I don't think I've ever seen well, as many elbows used in a fight ever. <laughs> that was quite the excitement. Oh, come on. Come on, Nick. We've seen many more elbows than that. But like you say, with uh, Langwa Ross, I said he had a bad day at the office. Yeah. But you're anyway, only, you're only as good as your opponent will allow you judges, to be. Yeah, well, like the last opponent was a head, one head bigger than him. And this one is one head smaller than him. <laughs> so there's also yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that would, that's a great thing for anyone matching up against Langwa Ross. Can see where you can get the advantage and where you can get the disadvantage. Yeah. From looking at his previous fights. For sure, for sure, yeah. Because so, last fight he fought with Lucas Achter Achterberg, and he's also a good fighter. He almost win uh, wins every fight, so it was not an easy job for him. Judges, and it comes in as a unanimous decision. 27 to 30 for judge number one. 27 to 30, and 27 to 30 in favor of the blue corner, all the way from Canada, Olivia Langlois Rose. And I thought we were gonna see Misha from Ronin Combat, Langlois Ross's coach jumping up and down. But being, being a Serbian, he can't show too much emotion. He is cracking a smile. 
but he might buy us a few rakias later. But Langwa Ross there, you see he's a bit emotional at the end of this fight. He worked really hard. He's obviously put the time in the gym yeah. and was successful on the night. So yeah. fair play to Langwa yeah, Ross. It's, also, please his condition for was very for good. Our official and for sure for heavyweight. Sir, please come back. And there's a shortage of heavyweights. Yeah. So there's always going to be a the spot. The ring, there's always going to be a spot for a good heavyweight who, who really comes to fight. Yeah. How do they take these trophies home on the plane? That's what I want to know. That's not going to fit in anybody's hand luggage. No. Or maybe they charter a separate plane just for the trophies.